Hi, I'm Bill Myers. In this video tip, I'm going to show you how to unlock audio from a video track, replace that audio with a separate audio track, and even do live recording while you're watching video on the audio track. Uh, let's get started. What I've got here is I've got Sony Movie Studio Platinum, and I've loaded up a video clip onto the timeline. And if we play that, you can hear there's audio going behind it. And that's not really the audio that I want. And there are a couple of things I can do. I can either mute the audio, and once I mute it, it goes black. And when I play it, there won't be any audio going on. But then that audio is still on that track, and I don't really like it there. I want to remove that audio completely because I'm not going to use it as part of my production. And to do that, I right-click on the audio track, come down to where it says Group, and select Remove From. And what that does, it unlocks the audio from the video. And once I've removed it, I can click on the audio track and click Delete and it's gone. That audio track is gone completely. Now if I want to add more audio to this, all I have to do is go to File, Import Media, and select an audio track that I want. I've got some audio tracks here that I've purchased from royalty-free CD libraries. Let's just take this one right here and select OK. And now you notice it's in our media pool. And to put that on the timeline, I can just drag it up and place it anywhere I want. The first thing I want to do is make sure I unmute that. And when it's muted, you'll see this black. And then I can play it to see what it sounds like. And I'm going to start at the beginning. Sounds pretty good. The audio track is not quite long enough to fill all the space. And that's OK, because what I really wanted to do is I wanted to speed this video up. And the way I do that is I put my mouse right here, I hold down the Control key, and bring it up like this. And what that does, it actually speeds the video track up. And if I play it now and you watch this window, it'll run real fast. Now, in other videos, I've showed you how to do the speed up effect. What I really want to show you in this video is how to record a background audio. Now, let's suppose you wanted to use a voiceover in addition to the uh, audio track that we've added right here. And there are a couple of ways to do that. One way is to record a voiceover in another program, say Audacity, and then import that audio into here and position it where you want. And another way is just to hook your microphone up to your computer and record while you're viewing what's going on on the screen here. Now the first thing that I would want to do is I'd want to reduce the volume of my background music. And the way I do that is I just move my mouse to the top of the background music frame and pull it down. And you notice that the lines are getting smaller. That's because I re reduced that volume. You can hear this much lower. Now let's say that right here on the timeline in the audio track, I want to start recording a voiceover or something narrating what's on the screen. The way to do that is in your audio track here, there's a little button that's Arm for Record. And we click that Arm for Record, you notice there's a red light down here, and there's a volume meter right here. When I click this red light, this Record button, it's actually going to start recording audio, and it'll put it wherever I want. So if I press it now, it's recording audio in the background, and it's picking up my voice, and you can see that right here is putting it on the time track as I speak. So as I see what's going on, on the screen here, I can narrate it and record it at the same time. In a lot of cases, this is not really the best way to do it, but it's one of the things that you can do. Easy to do. And then when you want to stop recording, you just hit the Stop button. It's going to save this as a separate file so that you can edit it without affecting anything else on your video. So we're going to save that. And now there's our recording. And if I play that back, recording audio in the background and it's picking up my voice and you can see that right here is putting it on the time track as I speak. So you can hear there's my voice right there and I can move that around and I can actually edit that audio track if I want. Anyway, there's three different ways that you can control your audio. You can ungroup audio from the main video track. You can bring audio in from other programs by doing an import and dragging it up on the track. Or you can use the arm for recording button to do the recording. By the way, to unarm this, you just click the button. So you click it to arm it click it to unarm it and you can record as much as you want throughout the program anywhere you want. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. Find more like this at www.bmyers.com. And you can find even more tips like this in my 101 Tips, Tricks, and Techniques video for Sony Vegas Movie Studio and that's available at my website as well as amazon.com.